those fancy plush chocolates that that um that mummy thinks she's hiding from us upstairs. The ones that were given to me. Yeah, she thinks she's hiding them. <laughs> Mama, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. Gonna have to investigate Mama that matter. I think. <laughs> Mama said she eats them at night on her own. Really? She wow. Thinks... Definitely gonna have to investigate that. South Dubai, in association with Gifters, your halal family-friendly restaurant. <laughs> Assalamualaikum, we are the Ansaris and today I'm joined by Salibala Abdurrahman you mean Salibala And Mariam Mariam and I forgot my name I forgot your name Alessari, excellent <laughs> So remember we said that there were 10 Muslim, 10 men and 4 women that went to Abyssinia Yeah okay? we heard Good, we heard. now they came back You were listening, so tell everyone at home if you were listening Why did they come back? Wait, they, you never told me they come back. Okay, good. So I'm just paying, seeing if you're paying attention. So they came back because they heard that who had to become Muslim. Oh, oh no! Oh, you didn't tell us that. Excellent. Did I say that? Yeah, you did. I thought I did, Abdullah. I thought yeah, I did. did. <laughs> All right, anyway, they came back because they you heard. Find you when you visit. Maybe they heard that Umar became Muslim. Now, but the Muslims they were still small in number. Okay. I'm small in so, number. Less than, we have a few hundred. So some more went back to Abyssinia. In fact, this time there were 82 men and 18 women. Abdullah, when they went back, do you remember the name of the king? What was his name? Make sure you click subscribe before you go on. Uh, from Ethiopia. Yes, what was his Najashi. name? Najashi. Najashi. And what happened was the non-Muslims around in Mecca, they wanted to bring the Muslims back. So they quickly hurried to see if they could get control and bring them back. What was one of their names? Abdullah. Not Abdullah, close. But let me ask, um, let me ask Adam actually. Adam, if you were invited to somebody's house, okay, and you were going to take a present or a gift, what would you take? A toy? That's a good idea. A okay. toy sonnet! Depends who it is. Depends who it is, good. Yeah, those, right. I want to. Those fancy plush chocolates that that um, that mummy thinks she's hiding from us upstairs. The ones that were given to me? Yeah, she thinks she's hiding them. Mama, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, gonna have to investigate that matter, I think. <laughs> Mama said she eats them at night on her own. Really? She wow, thinks. definitely gonna have to investigate that. <laughs> okay, right, now anyway guys. So the Quraysh, they took leather, money, gifts, all of these things to try and give to the king. Now, yeah. Abdul Rahman, what religion did we say the king was? Christian. He was Christian, okay. So the Quraysh said, we'll oh, give you these gifts. The Quraysh? Gifts. Yeah. Muslim. No, they used to worship idols. What? The what? Quraysh, they were... Muslim. Yeah, he was from their tribe, so but he never worshipped idols. Yeah, yeah. so... So his family, or the people around him and his friends that he grew up with, they used to worship did idols. Did Umar Yes. You know how they had And then he became? Abu Bakr? No, uh, not Abu Bakr. You know how they, they had said, tribes? Yeah. Which tribe was Abu Bakr from? Uh, that's a good question. I think it's from the Qahtani tribe. I'd have to huh? check that up. A Qahtani. Research it. You want me to Google it right now? Yeah, right now. I'll Google it after the episode. <laughs> no, first of all, I'm going to tell everyone at home what the question is. So, the Quraysh, they went and you know what the king said? Actually, before before that, we mentioned the king. What religion was he? So, Mariam, tell me something. I just said that two we did. Ago. Mariam, tell me something that um, somebody of the Christian faith believes that's different that Muslims we don't believe. Oh, I know, I know. Yeah, okay, the cross protects them. Good. So, and they believe that. Isa is God. Yes. And the son, the son of God. But we don't believe, believe that Isa is, is a prophet of Allah, not his son. Yeah. Okay. That's now, haram. Right, in Islam it is. In so Allah is forbidden. It's said in Surah Allah that there's no son of the prophet. Prophet of no son of Allah, don't you mean? <laughs> He's another no, no, prophet. Yeah. Uh, talking about Surah Ikhlas, who knows Surah Ikhlas? Me! Adam, are you back? Do you know Surah Ikhlas? Excellent. 
Excellent. That means one. Ahad means one. So let's go to. It means to be sincere, to only worship Allah. Sincere. Yes. Now let's go to competition time. Competition time. We're at home with the Azaris. Everybody watching at home, I want you to open up your workbooks. Go past the code breaker page, past the sticker page, and past the reward chart until you reach the last page for this particular episode. What you will see there is competition time. I'm going to ask a question, and in your workbooks, you'll find two possible answers. I want you to circle what you think is the correct answer as fast as you can, and let's have a competition to see if you at home can beat the Azaris here. You get two points for every correct answer. Question number one, everybody. Who ran between Mount Safa and Marwa? Uh, was it number one, I Aisha? Okay, let me, I know you weren't there, but let's see if you know the answer. Was it number one, Aisha, or number two, Hajar? <laughs> if you think Aisha, write number one. If you think Hajar, write number two. Adam, what do you think, one or two? Adam said it's one. The answer of your cousin. What's the answer? One or two? Our cousin's name. Your cousin's name, Hajar. Okay, so Abdullah says number two, Hajar. Mariam says number two. Adam says two. number two. And Abdurrahman, one or two? Uh, I told you, I knew. Number one. Okay. No, I said number two. Sorry, number two. So the correct answer is number two. Hajar was the one who ran between Mount Safa and Mount Marwa. Marwa. Well done, everybody. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number two. How often do we give zakat? Is it once every year or once every 10 years? If you think it's once every year, write number one. If you think it's once every 10 years, write number two. Oh yeah, we talked about this in the mosque. Yeah, so how many times a year do we do it? Once every year or once every 10 years? Abdurrahman, what do you think? Is it Abdurrahman's written number two? Number one? Mariam's written number one. Adam? Is that number one or one. No? number one? Abdullah? Number one. Excellent. So the correct answer, everybody, is number one. Zakat is something we do every single year. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. Question number three, everybody. Which direction was the Qibla before it was facing Mecca? Was it number one? Medina Masjid al Nabawi or number two Masjid al Aqsa? I know this. Are you sure? Yeah, I know about this. Daddy, You've been wrong before, Abdullah, many times. Daddy, it's number two Masjid al Aqsa. <laughs> All right, if you think it's number one for Masjid al Nabawi, or I think it's number one, that's Masjid al Nabawi, Medina. I think it's number two, that's Masjid al Aqsa, Abdurrahman. Number two, Abdullah, what's the correct answer? The correct answer is Masjid al Aqsa. Masjid Al-Aqsa, Adam, what did you write? Two. Mariam, what did you write? Two. Number two. Well done. The correct answer is number two. Masjid Al-Aqsa was the direction of the Qibla before it got changed to Mecca. Everyone got the correct answer, mashallah. So everyone moves up the leaderboard. So the king called the Muslims. He said, what do you say about our religion? Uh, because he used to work, they were Christians at the time. And what do you say about the Quraysh, these people who were in Mecca? Now, Jafar was the name of the leader of the Muslims at the time. Do you know this? I know this. So, because you know, let me ask somebody who doesn't know then. Let me ask Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman, let me ask you. Are we Actually, allowed, I don't know. You don't know. Are we allowed to, as Muslims, eat dead animals that haven't been slaughtered? Haven't been made halal? If an animal hasn't been made halal, can we eat it? No, we can't. Adam, question for you. How do we make animals... Halal. Make sure you click the subscribe button now. Um, you cut the, um, the what? The, <laughs> Are you sure? The, the belly. Did you cut the belly? And the, the, and the head and the hair. You don't know, do you? And the button. <laughs> I know. Buttons. I know. There's a special word that you have to say. Yes. And to make it halal. Exactly. So what happened is Jafar said to the king, look, we believe that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus is a, what the Muslim, is a prophet, yeah. And when the prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi salam, he came, he told us don't eat dead animals, don't steal, be good and be kind to everybody. Now, Abdullah, yeah. 
What was Prophet Isa alayhisalam's mother's name? Maryam. Maryam. So Why didn't you ask her? Because oh, her name is Maryam. That's true. Could have asked her. Maybe I'll ask her next time. Can you change her name to M A R Y A M? No, I can't. You can. <laughs> because <laughs> then it will be. She likes her name. Okay, they're, they're, the exact same. they're the it's exact same. It's a slightly different. Name. It's the exact same name. They have a Y. Just a different spelling. It's a difference. So Najashi, the king, said, This is true. Prophet Isa, he said these things as well that we shouldn't be uh, bad to people, we shouldn't eat dead animals, we should only be good and help others. So then, Abdurrahman, question for you Was Najashi Muslim at the time? <laughs> Before you go on, make sure to click like now. No, he wasn't. But do you know what happened? He secretly accepted Islam and became Muslim. Because he believed in, who did he believe in, Adam? Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Yes, he believed him in the end. And everybody... Thank you. That brings us to the end of this episode to find out what happens next to the king. Stay tuned for the next episode. Next time. Maybe. Everyone say Salaam Alaikum. Salaam Alaikum. Click subscribe now. Click like. Don't forget your workbooks and your Azhari dinosaurs. From the Azhari.com. We'll see you soon, inshallah.